And now it's time for Okies in the Wild, brought to you by Darton Archery. Visit DartonArchery.com. Lifelong avid hunter and fisherman, Bill Kennedy lives in Yukon, Oklahoma. His interest and love for making quality knives started while he was working as a tool and die maker in 1981, teaching himself the trade of making knives as a hobby. I got started working as a tool and die maker, is what I did, went into machine shop after uh, I got married and stuff, so I was making uh, tool and die, and I was getting the jobs done too quick, and so the uh, boss said, find something to do. I said, okay. Can I make a knife? I said, okay, because <laughs> at that time I was hunting a lot and I uh, wanted a better knife. And so he said, sure, you know, so I'd rough them all out and then I'd take them home and I'd finish them up with a block of sandpaper and finish them out. It took 30, 40 hours on each knife, but I loved it. It developed a passion for me on making knives. And from there I started, uh, my dad helped build me my belt sanders that I had. And we uh, together have built four of them out there that I've got in my shop that I use. In 1985, I became a voting member in, in the Knife Makers Guild. So that was a starting point for me. It gave me other references as far as that goes and, and other type of knives to look for at those shows that they have. They had some great shows for us and it just kind of dominoed into that. So I've been making knives ever since then. I take my uh, knives to a saddle maker, Larry Parsons in Mustang and he finishes my knife is what I say. He will make each sheath to fit the knife and if somebody wants something special, he'll do it. So for an example, I've got this one here. He put some ostrich on the front of it for me and he uh, customized it to match up for that knife for me to make it a complete package is what I call it. That is totally custom right here. The design was there as well as the sheath for Larry to make for me. I have other examples of it here. Here is another sheet that he does that is just tooled. And then the knife itself, this was the one of them that a customer, his dad had the trapper blade uh, on a pocket knife and he wanted a fixed blade knife. And this is a armadillo. That is a guy in Florida that does that for me and I buy that from him. He will dye it, dry it out, dye it and stabilize it. So it's a very good solid working knife or for very good for knife handles. Along with that he will make uh, cases for my pocket knives as well. This one has got some elephant hide on that and this is the uh, gold lip pearl pocket knife. This is a saddle horn style blade. It has the two different blades that go with it on that. It's a two-bladed pocket knife. It is the one that I won the best of show on in 2013 at our KGA show. Okay, as we come in the shop, I'll bring a customer in. Let's do it as example that one, somebody's wanting to order a knife. They will come in here and I have all my standard patterns here on the wall. Uh, if they want to pick from that, they can. Otherwise, I will make the type of knife that they want. Uh, I start with, with bar stock. I have a drawer full of different types of steel. I have boxes full of steel everywhere as well as here to make, so I have quite a variety of steel for a person if they have a specific need or a specific type of steel that they want to use. I heat treat and take care of all of my own knives. I heat treat them, draw them back and get them back to the Rockwell. I do have a Rockwell tester, so I can uh, check every knife that I do heat treat uh, to make sure it is the right hardness to maintain a good cutting edge. This is an example of some of the stuff that I like to find that is different uh, for people to have something that is very unique to their own knife. This was a piece of a walrus jawbone fossilized that I've got when I was in Alaska. Here is a woolly mammoth leg bone from the dinosaurs and that is uh, another example of the uh, exotic stuff that I like to use. Here's something that I don't think anybody that I know has. This is some fossilized moose horn that I have and as you can see it is fully uh, fossilized all the way down to the middle with this. So it makes a very unique uh, handle material as well. All right, here we go. I usually 
describe a center line when I'm grinding them to where I've got something to work to, and I can see that, see where it needs to be so the blade, the uh, grind is in the center. Today, you'll find his work in the pockets, belts, and display shelves of folks from all over the world. Bill Kennedy Jr., making custom quality knives since 1983 and one of Oklahoma's Okies in the wild. You've been watching Okies in the Wild, brought to you by Darton Archery. Visit dartonarchery.com.